squares are actually squares. Normally when we first learn Pythagorean theorem, we learn it in terms of symbols. That is your teacher just kind of recites to you, if you take the legs of a right triangle, square them and add those together, they add up to the square of the hypotenuse. Or what we typically memorize as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But if you had talked to ancient mathematicians 3,000 years ago, 6,000 years ago, and said to them, hey, do you know about a squared plus b squared equals c squared? They would have no idea what you're talking about because probably they don't speak English. English. But even more importantly, they don't speak the language of symbolic algebra. Instead, when they would talk about the square of a leg of a right triangle, they literally meant the square you can draw from one of the legs of your triangle. And when you put those two squares together, a squared and b squared, their areas end up making the same thing as the area of the square you can draw from that hypotenuse. So next time you're trying to remember the Pythagorean theorem, just make sure you remember 